It has been a pretty nice start to the week. We saw some warm temperatures and of course dry conditions. As far as this evening goes, we do have a few thin clouds working their way into the region. But aside from that, we are fairly quiet. Not going to be tracking any active weather tonight. We have a couple of days of quiet and warm weather in store for us. As of right now, we've got temperatures running in the 50s and the 60s. We've got Mount Vernon coming in at 54, Marion at 61, along with Paducah, Sykeston, and then Kennett holding on to 63. So really not too bad when we're thinking about, hey, it's November and that sun has already set. Quiet and cool conditions will stick around through the overnight hours, but we will see a couple more days of the above average temperatures. We have a small cool down coming our way by the time we get to the end of the week, and that will bring a few rain chances, but at this point, it really doesn't look like a washout. So here's what we've got going on right now. Again, high pressure at play here at home, but you'll notice with that system in the Gulf Coast, we are seeing some of those clouds making their way into our area. Those clouds are going to be sticking around. So as we head through the overnight, again, some of us dealing with a few thin clouds across the region. By the time we get to Tuesday, expecting those to stay in the area and temperature wise will be pretty chilly as we start the day. So by the time we get to tomorrow morning, we are expecting temperatures to dip back into the 30s for many of us. And then throughout the day on Tuesday, going to continue to see some of those clouds around with high temperatures climbing back up into the low to mid 60s. Not tracking again any active weather tomorrow. Overall, it will be a pretty mild day and then we stay quiet into Tuesday evening. We will stay warm as we head into the middle of the week. So by Wednesday, we're talking 67 degrees. That's about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. By the time we get to Thursday, we're down into the mid 60s. Our cold front works its way into the region by the time we get to Friday. So that will drop those temperatures back into the low 60s and eventually back down into the mid 50s. Storm Track 3 up, of course, great to have on your smartphone, especially since we have that front coming through. That again will work its way through the region on early Friday. That'll bring scattered showers to the area before clearing out late Friday evening. As far as the rainfall forecast, though, this is a look at the next five days, really not tracking widespread heavy rainfall at this point, uh, light to steady at best. So not going to be a washout if you have plans. I don't think you need to cancel your plans just yet. Just keep an eye on the forecast. This front moves in and out of here pretty quickly. So by the time we get to the weekend, the sunshine comes back. We're just a bit cooler, dropping back down to about mid 50s, 56, 55. That's not too bad. No, not bad at all. And those high temperatures this week aren't bad either. They do look nice. Hmm. They do. All right. Thank you, Jaycee.